hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are not a part of the family make sure that you subscribe down below before we get into the video today we're actually going to be doing my hair <laughs> so if you guys are new to my channel my hair was straight I actually got it straightened to get it trimmed even though that's not necessary that you do that I just wanted to because I wanted to see how long my hair was and just make sure I got a really good starting point for my trim and I'm so so happy that I got the trim because I feel like my curls just look a whole lot better like the ends of them I already have my next trim appointment set up in this video I kind of took you guys mainly through like my wash day routine this climber though probably every time that I wash my hair I use different products <laughs> but this is just like how I do it and most of the time I will wash my hair in the sink I know a lot of people don't like that but just the way my setup is I just prefer it a whole lot better you guys don't really care the reasons why I prefer to do it at the sink so just know this is not my normal way but this is how I'm gonna show you guys in this video I'm not gonna talk too much in this beginning if you guys want to see me transform my straight hair back into this fro then just keep on watching I actually just came back from working out this was my first time working out in two weeks so my roots puffed up pretty bad which I already knew that was gonna happen I'm about to jump in the shower and take you guys with me on the shampoo process also if you want to see the whole process of me getting my hair straightened and trimmed and all of that kind of stuff then I will link it in the card section at the top of the video so you guys can check that out so let's get started with washing our hair um uh, yeah let's get to it so guys we are starting with rinsing our hair so the main thing I was trying to do was basically prep my hair for the shampoo this is something that I do every single time that I wash my hair but this time I was doing it a lot longer because I was trying to activate my curls so you see me like judging my hair a lot just really trying to wake it up <laughs> so yeah I did that until I felt like my hair was super drenched in the water and a lot of my curls were starting to show themselves then I I went in with the Curls Daughter Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo and I applied this to my hair. Now this, what you guys are seeing, is actually my second wash. I shampooed my hair once at this stage and then I decided to go in with a second shampoo just to make sure it was really clean and because I just feel like shampoo always suds a lot better the second time as you can see there is a lot of suds and I just wanted to make sure that it was super clean now this part is kind of important to me I just try to make sure that all of the shampoo is rinsed out because this is more of like a clarifying shampoo I just want to make sure that all of it is out of my hair just so that it can absorb all of the conditioning aspects of the conditioner so after that's all rinsed out I'm going in with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream creamy conditioner this is just gonna add a lot of moisture I'm applying this conditioner almost like how you would apply gel just kind of judging it into the curls just to make sure that it's in the hair strands and not in the scalp and then I took a shower <laughs> it helps the conditioner sit for you know a few minutes and then I rinsed out my hair I did end up flipping my hair over and you could barely even see it but that's how I rinsed out the conditioner and that's pretty much how I do my wash day now all this left is styling so guys a fresh out of the shower from washing my hair I let it sit in this towel for a few minutes and this is my hair <laughs> and just in case you guys wanted to know this towel I'll put it down in the description box if I can find it but I always get questions on this cool little towel but so far I don't really see any damage to be honest I feel like my hair went back it may be a little bit looser like in these top sections but it'll get gradually tighter the more I wash it I do have like all these products right here that I was about to do a twist out but I literally just changed my mind like I think I'm just going to rock the wash and go for a little bit and let this do what it's gonna do and then like do a twist out some other time my hair looks a whole lot healthier like the ends especially of each individual curl so this is the end of kind of like my wash day putting my natural hair back or really it's always natural but putting my curls back video I hope you guys enjoyed it and you probably are wondering what products I used in my hair I actually took it back old school on when I used to not 
put products in my hair so I decided I just didn't really feel like it and to be honest I don't really need products as far as to pop out the curls for my wash and go I just use it like more so for hydration I have low luster hair so I never really do it for shine because there's really no product that I can put in my hair that's really just gonna make it shine. It's just gonna kind of sit on top. So yeah, mostly I will do it for hydration. I just didn't feel like it this time. So don't think you missed that part. <laughs> I don't have any products in my hair. Definitely listen to your hair and your hair type. But for me, I used to pretty much never put products in my hair and it worked out. <laughs> Unless like I was doing a twist out with like wash and goes, no products typically. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video before you leave and I I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.